What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach. In today's video, we're actually answering the question of how to remove an element or elements from a list in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What is up everybody? So like I mentioned today, we are answering that question of how to remove an element from a list in Python. And I actually have five different ways um, that you can use to remove elements from a list. And before we get into that, I wanna kind of talk about our setup. So I have this list call, uh, called cur list that just has basically one, two, three, four, and then an extra two. In it. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show you as we go through these different methods because some methods do some things and that others do not. And so you need to be aware of it, especially when you have duplicates in there. So we're going to go over that. Another thing I want to talk about is uh, for those of you who haven't used like imports or yet or anything, um, I'm basically so when I'm modifying this list each time, it's it can be modified as it goes throughout these functions. Um, and so what I'm doing is a deep copy of that. So this function, as I pass in that list deep copy, what it does is basically makes a whole new brand new object of this copy every time I pass it in so that way like if I you know go from method one to method two and I'm trying to remove something it doesn't it doesn't mess it up or it doesn't um, you know it, it's always it's always everything's always essentially working from this original copy so that's the that's the setup that we're working with now let's hop in and start talking about method number one so method number one is actually what I call the naive approach and what I mean by this is like if you haven't learned about lists and a whole lot and their functions that you can that they all have um, and you've just learned about for loops and and indexing and stuff like that, kind of the basics of Python. This is probably the approach that we, you were you would use if um, that's the information that you had. Now there are more there there are better ways to do remove items from a list, and we're going to get to those. But just to show you, like the naive approach, and sometimes you have sometimes going with the naive approach is the most simple and actually could could actually help you out in a certain situation. So never knock the naive approach because it does help. But essentially. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically create a new list. Um, as you can see here, it's basically an empty list. Now I'm going to go through and use a for loop and iterate through the original list that we pass into this function. And as you remember, like that list is just one, th two, one, two, three, four, and then an extra two. And what I'm going to do is in this function, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to have an element that I want to remove. In our case, we said that element to remove is two, the value of two, not the index of two, the value of two. And that's important as we get into this. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to loop through this list and it's going to compare it the, each item in the list to that value that we want to remove. And if it's not equal to two or the value of two, it's going to add that item to a list. So essentially, if I run this method number one, you should see that I should get one, three, and four as our new list. So if I run this, you see that I removed two, and because I'm removing two, like it's taking off that value of two and that value of two, so I end up with that list of one, three, and four. So again, that's the naive approach. Sometimes this method, sometimes this method is kind of the best approach, and you'll see why as I talk about these next methods. So let's hop right in and talk about method number two. Okay, method number two is using the a list function called remove. Now this is great, right? Like this is exactly why we're here. We want to remove an element from a list, and why not just use the remove method, right? So essentially in our setup here, um, I'm going to show you method number one, the naive approach, and method number two. Again, using the list one, two, three, four, and then extra two, we're gonna remove the, val the value of two. And so what you do with remove, you just go list.remove, and then pass in the, the value that you want to remove from that list. If it's there, um, it'll be removed. If it's not, it won't. But there is a caveat, and here's why. If I run this function again, you'll see, look, I ran it, and I my naive approach, just that list that we talked about, got us one, three, and four. However, this method number two of just using the remove just it got us one two three four and then hey or one three four but wait that last two is still on there and why is that well that's where you need to be careful with this function because remove essentially it removes the first occurrence or the first index that it finds that value at so as it's iterating through the list and it finds a two it removes and then just returns the list and just updates the list so to actually use method new, number two correctly, you might have to um, do something like use a for loop or a while loop, like saying, like, hey, while like the value of two is not in the list, keep removing. Um, and so that's just something to be careful of because remove will only remove that first instance or that first index that it finds um, that value in the list. So that's just something to be careful of and why sometimes, like I mentioned, going to, with the naive approach, method number one, maybe that's a better approach. Um, and so essentially to fix this, what we could do is just say, why while element to remove is not in list, not in the list, then we're just gonna keep calling this remove. Or no, excuse me, we, we wanna say, while the element to remove is in the list, keep calling remove. And so if we run this, 
we should get it to eventually remove everything for us. And so that's the way you'd have to fix that um, is because remove again, just removes that first instance. So if you have to do something like a while loop and just check while, while that element's still in there, remove it. So that's method number two. Let's talk about method number three. And by the way, before we get to method number three, um, I'm gonna show you a way that you can remove uh, essentially duplicates and then call this remove and then all that will be, you know, all that element will be removed. So we'll get that here in, as we get closer to method number five. So stay tuned for that. So method number three, let's talk about that now. Hey, I just wanna jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. Okay, so method number three is actually using the delete function of a list to be able to remove um, that value. But the difference between the delete method or this delete uh, value versus and say remove and the naive approach that we've done is the delete requires the index of the value you want to remove. So for instance, if I want to remove two and say I just want to remove this value of two. So I, I, I don't care about this one. I think it's good there, but I need to remove this one. Well, remember lists are zero, like in Python it's zero base. So like when I do indexing, it's gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, rather than one, two, three, four, that type of thing. So if I want to remove two, for method number three, I have to actually pass pass in the index of that value I want to remove. So in this case, like rather than saying uh, the value of two, I have to put the index, which is one. So in this case, we'll pass in the index of one. I'll do this delete and then I'll just use, this is how you call it. You say delete the list and then brackets, um, the index you want to remove, and then it'll just remove it from the list and you'll get an updated list. So if I run this, um, essentially what you should see is I removed that value of two right at that instance. Now, for instance, if I wanted to um, remove like another, in, like if I wanted to remove all the twos, I'd have I'd probably have to do something like turn this into like a list of indexes to remove and then just go through the list. So like for instance, I probably could just do something like uh, indexes and then do for index in L to remove indexes do that index here and then what I'll do is I'll pass in this will be one and uh, one and negative one in this case and the reason I'm going to do this is because so when I delete this list it's actually going to update the list and if I put in a specific index like say one two so I put in or sorry, zero one if I put in one and I remove that then it's going to become zero one two three rather than zero one two three four and the nice thing little little hack with Python is if you put a negative one it'll just remove that that last index, that means the last index. And so if I do this case, hopefully you should see that method number um, three right down here ends up with just one, three, and four, just like the rest. So we'll try that out and look, there it is, one, three, and four, just like we tried. So that's just something to be careful of if you do this, like because that list, like uh, for instance, let me, I'll show you what I mean by that. So, like you have to be careful because this list is updating right here. As I go through, I'm deleting from the list. So like it's getting smaller. So essentially if I do, uh, if I do, I remove one and then I remove, so zero, one, two, three, four. If I put a four in here, I probably am gonna end up with an error because it was indexed out of bounds. And there it is. I, I got an index an index out of range because I put in four, but that list has now become, if I loop through this, I can say the length of the list as it starts. So print the length. Uh, list and this will should appear up above so right here so it was five so index zero through four and then it was four zero through three and I put in a four and that causes it to go out of bounds and so that's why you need to be careful and that's why I like doing a negative one here is kind of the trick or the hack to it where you can do this and it'll essentially give you the values that you want so that's just something to be careful of especially if you have to do loop through and if you're looping through and deleting something and stuff out of the list the indexes of those values are changing because the list is shrinking so just be careful of that um, and we're gonna get into again method number five I'm going to show you how to remove du duplicates. So stick to the end because you can remove duplicates and it'll just give you one value and then you can remove that value if needed. So we'll talk about that. But first, before we get there, let's talk about method number three. Okay, so method number four um, is essentially the same thing as the delete. It requires the index. And what it is is pop. So sometimes you'll hear like, hey, we need to pop something off a list or off a stack or whatever. But pop for a list is essentially it removes the element from the list and returns it. So you get an item that you can play with, but it is no longer in the list. Um, but again, it is also by the index value. So it's saying, I want to remove this item at this index. So if we go back down here, uncomment this or method number four, um, what you'll see here is I have that same list. I have that, that one, two, three, four, and then two, but I want to remove this index of two because I want this, I want. I don't want this value in here, here, but I also, whatever value is that index one, I want to use, say, and do something with. So what you can do um, is 
I can go in here and I'll say, it's gonna give me the index there. I'm gonna pop it out and I'm gonna say, now I can use this value uh, of, and then I'll return whatever the value was. Um, and then I'll also return the list. So again, this will pop up right under method number three when I run this right here. Um, and you'll see, I run it. Essentially what it's doing is I popped out the value of two and there it is. Now I can use the value of two and it says now, our, and then returns the list of one, three, four, and then that, there's that pesky extra two. Um, and again, if you wanna do something similar to this, you could do what we did up above in this method three, where we you know did the for loop. I could do a for loop and pop out all the values and pass in a list of you know indexes I wanted to remove. But I'll show you method number five and, and, we'll, and we'll show you how to do that a lot easier. But essentially method number four is using pop. And the benefit of pop is just that it removes that value, it removes the value at the index you specify but and returns that value for you to use. Like delete, it doesn't return the value. Like I do this index and I can't remove it. Like, and I can't use it. The same thing with, um, if I print this out and then val equals, they print val. If I run these again, it's just gonna be none, right? So val, like remove is none, delete is none. Like there's no, it's not returning the value. It's, it's sort of, it doesn't have anything to return for you. It's just removing stuff from the list and, and basically updating the list in place. Whereas down here, you get to pop it out of the list, remove it, and you get that value that you can use and do something with or compare against or I don't know, whatever you're trying to do in your application or program. So I could go through and I could show you the for loop, but instead I'm gonna go through method number five now and I wanna walk you through how you can remove those pesky duplicates and then do something like a pop or uh, or a remove or a delete and without having to go through this naive method. So let's talk, let's jump right in and start talking about method number five. Okay, so the fifth method that you can use to remove an element from a list is essentially a set, um, is by using the set method or the set container and then rewrapping it as a list. And what I say by this is because a, a set is a, basically a, it's like it's another container type that basically means only one type of, or only one value can be present. So for instance, what I mean by that is like, if I have one, two, three, four, and two, a set would, like, like if I wrap this as a set, it's gonna remove that extra two and just say, hey, there's a duplicate two here. Like you only need one, two, three, and four. And so that's what a set is essentially doing. It's, you know, it's just another instant type that uh, it's of all unique elements is this essentially. Like it says here, build an unordered collection of unique elements. It's like everything is unique. There's no duplicates involved. So when I wrap this list into a set, it's gonna automatically remove the duplicates for us. Then I can rewrap it as a list. And if I run this, um, what I can do here is I just even passed, I like rather than using our old list of one, two, three, four, and two, I'm now using a new list of one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two. So if there's duplicate threes, twos, fours, and ones. And ideally it should just give us a list of one through five. And so if I run this, what you'll see is boom, there it is. One, two, three, four, five. Rather than this big, super long list, I get this list of just one, two, three, four, five. And that's because I just take a set, I wrap it, or I take my list that I pass in, wrap it as a set, and then re, and then re put everything back as a list. And in doing so, I just get my unique list of elements with no du duplicates removed. Now, let's say I wanted to remove um, the value of five. What I could do is essentially do this is where like, if you do something like this, this is where remove probably method comes really in handy because I wanna say, hey, I wanna move, remove, um, I wanna remove the element of five. So I'll pass this in, update my function down here to say five, I wanna remove that. I just wanna end up with a list of one, two, three, four. And by doing so, oh, I gotta actually do the remove in here. I gotta say list dot remove, and I gotta say element to remove. And again, this is gonna be our five, and then I'm gonna re return that list, and you should see it should just be a list of one, two, three, four. And there it is, one, two, three, four. So there it is. You re can reuse this set method to, and then recast it, reconvert it to a list, and then do call or remove on it, and it'll it'll just remove that value. Now, if you had knew the index that you wanted to remove, you could do the index. Um, but sometimes in this case, like like if you know the values that are gonna be in there, or the possible values, and you need to remove certain values, like it's probably better to remove the value than the um, index because of the fact that like as a set thing as the set thing or as a description of a set set here is it builds an unordered collection meaning it might not always return one two three four five because of the, how this is ordered it could return something like two four five and six depending on what the order is here then you'd have to do some sort of thing like sorting and whatnot like that so just be wary of that basically you can use a set like a list combo to remove the duplicates and then if you want to remove a specific value from that list that you know should be there or could possibly be there that you don't want there then you can just say, hey, remove that using the remove method. Or you can go through the naive approach um, as well if you wanted to. Um, so that's
that's it pretty much. The, you know, those are the five different methods that you can use to remove element, an element or elements from a list in Python. Uh, I appreciate you coding me, with, coding with me today. And until next time, keep on coding.